Nation on a Sunday. I want to thank first Tish, who's been such a gracious host for this. This is actually the second thing that Tish's done. And what these are, are a set of meals, small meals and dinners that are going to lead up to create the community meal. On September 14th, this year, you all are invited to sit at the table. To sit at the table and engage in a conversation just like you're doing right now. And so we're looking for volunteers, but what I'd like you all to do is to be guests. Folks here in the neighborhood, and this focuses on healthy eating. What we're doing is a table for 2,000 people at a table a half a mile long. 2,000. Yeah, 2,000 folks. Uh, on all on one long table, starting from university going all the way up to mini high high. No, no, it's gonna be in the middle of the street. We're closing off the street itself to do this dinner. Uh, well, no, it's not gonna cross the tracks. It's not gonna cross the tracks. It's just gonna start on university and go all the way to mini high. -high. So for and the salt, train is going to be going by? The train will be going by. Actually, the train this will be bringing people to the site. Wow. Wow. Folks are getting off on Victoria. On that day, uh, you'll get free passes. Mm -hmm. ah. so if you're coming to the meal, there'll be a place to sign on on Metro Transit site to be able to get a free pass to, to that site that day. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a whole series of things, of these small dinners to introduce folks in the neighborhood to it. And in fact, we're going to do one where Sharonda's going to be the cook. Sharonda's a great Sharonda's a great vegetarian chef herself. In addition to being, in addition to being a poet, a writer, uh, an activist, a life coach, and all that other stuff. Everything else. What I forget. <laughs> exactly. Everything else. Yeah, a mother, wow. a neighbor, a homeowner, a, a, you know, a stakeholder in this community. And uh, and so we're really working with the entire neighborhood and a whole bunch of things. We've been making paper for the placemats. <laughs> and, and actually, one of the great things is to have... A, a number of young people involved in a lot of different initiatives. In addition to making paper, we're doing a spoken word event that will be a part of this event. We're commissioned uh, another poet to do our grace for us. Mm -hmm. So like there are all these folks that are going to be involved in this thing leading up to it. But once again, it focuses on healthy eating. So, and once again, I want to thank Tish. Hey, you like it all wet. <laughs> And I also am here you to collect to food stories. Yeah, really. And so at some point, we're going to use this camera to collect some food stories from all of you all. All you all have a food story. It's written in proteins and carbohydrates and coffee. And so we're going to collect those. Anywhere from a paragraph, one line, to like a full-blown page. Uh, that will all be used to help inspire this event. So once again, I want to thank you all. I'm going to spend too much time talking because we got to eat. All right, thanks again. And thank you, Tish. Thank you for